Hello, so in this video I want to show a script that I was sort for answering uh, a question that I collected a couple of times regarding composite post-processing. So let's start with uh, what the users wanted to do. Uh, so they wanted to start uh, with a composite stress for Mises Max uh, post-processing, meaning they wanted to check over all the pleas which was the uh, maximum stress over for each element. From this, what they wanted to do is to collect the max element and to get the information about the plea for which this element had the max value, so that they could then have a second view where they would display uh, the control, the composite fun mazes for the given plea, the plea for which they have the max, the value of 167. The point is how to pass from there, from left-hand side to right-hand side, knowing that in the left-hand side window, we do not have the information about the plea for which we have the max. In fact, for this, we need an intermediate step. So let me split my window into three. Uh, and I will switch the two windows uh, Together, now it's in Hyperview one. Uh, I will load again the result here, and in this one, what I will do is uh, look for the max layer for the element six thousand uh, six hundred sixty-three nine six seven. So let me plot the contour, stress, composite stress. Sorry, uh, where is it? I've lost it. Composite stress, here it is. Fun Mises, and I will pick uh, the max layer. So here you see that I have my element with the static max value. So I know this is this element that I need to query. And uh, from the second window, I need to collect the plea. So for this, I will go back to the second window create a measure, uh, type elemental control, and I will pick the element so uh, it's in there all in the same location. So I should be able to, yes, this is the one I'm looking for. And it says that it is pli 25. So now that I have this information, I can move to the final view, which is plotting my fun, my fun with stress with uh, pli 25. Now, uh, speaking about automation, how did I do it? So let's have a look at the script. Uh, as a starting point, uh, you will have to check that your data type and data component are the same, exactly the same, uh, and take care it is uh, case sensitive. That's what you see in Hyperview. Meaning, here I have composite stress, phone mises, so in my script, I should have composite stress and fun business. Then the script will ask you to load a file. It will extract a working directory from it. Um, why uh, do we have this step? Because in the original, one of the original requests I received, the customer wanted to uh, extract some screenshots so basically, I was exporting them in the same directory that the input file. And we, we will require a package, a TCL package, which is part of Alter Station, which is called PostQuery. Basically, it allows to quickly get access to some information. So at line 11, uh, we are uh, loading the model, let's say, to start with. And we're getting the list of all subcases, and we create a counter which is a max measure ID because, as I mentioned, we will rely on measures in order to get information for the plea. And then we start to loop over the subcases uh, first to uh, this first step. Again, I will have a on here is plot control uh, stress on data type or data type data component uh, and with layer equal max. 
From this, we will create a hotspot value. So the hotspot, this is something that you can skip in case you do not want to save pictures. Um, in the script, I do something a little bit different than in uh, what I showed previously interactively. Interactively, you see that I, you saw that I created three separate windows. What I do with the script is that I use the same window and in order to have the same view uh, across the different contours, I'm creating a hotspot first on this max value and then I'm saving a view, uh, which I reuse later on for the pictures. So if you're not interested in the pictures, um, you can dismiss this part. Next, I'm collecting the ID of um, the max attribute, uh, the max entity, let's say. So which element has the max value for all the elements. Then I'm creating a second contour, which is again stress, phone mises, but this time I ask for max layer. And then I create a measure, uh, which is which I could max layer subcase, so it could be subcase one, subcase two, etc., etc. And from this subcase, line forty nine to fifty one, I'm extracting this information about what is the plea. Then I'm doing also some screenshot, and finally, I'm plotting uh, the result with the targeted plea. Just let me select all of this. Uh, create a fresh page just to, for the sake of showing a live TCL common window and let's clear it Ctrl-V let's do it again everything starting with ring.h3d and you see everything is running until we get the play 25 and if you look at the uh, folder which contain the results here uh, just for the sake, you will see that I have plenty of pictures that have been created. So here it is. Hope that helps.